Who's that for us? What is this? It's sketchy. It's up. Welcome to the Logan Christmas Carol. And I'm here for the phone. My name is Charles Dickens. It's Rizzo the Rat. Hey, wait a second. You're not Charles Dickens. I am too. I'm Charles Dickens hanging out with a rat. Absolutely. Charles Dickens was a genius. Oh, you were too kind. Why do I... Um, there's a little mole on my thumb, and uh, no. a star on my wrist from my father's No, no. Don't tell us no, the story. Oh, oh, thank you, yes. <clears throat> the Marleys were dead to begin with. Ah. Uh, uh, That's how the story begins, Rizzo. The Marleys were dead to begin with. Oh. As dead as a doornail. It's a good beginning. Uh, it's creepy, uh, but... Woo! Okay. Oh, thank you, Rizzo. Uh, you know, yeah, it begins. begins. In life, the Marleys had been business partners with a shrewd moneylender named Ebenezer Scrooge. You will meet him as he comes around that corner. Where? There. Where? Where? No. Who? There he is, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. Hey, is it going to go around here? Woohoo! Go and blow it, choose you, choose you to the ball. But there's nothing in nature that freezes your heart like he is a being alone. It makes you with the difference of bleeding paints with rouge. And the worst of the worst, the most hated and, and cursed, is the one that we call Scrooge. Kind um, as many, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, Mr. Humba, Mr. Grimm. Prize for me and me, the winner would be him. Who's he loves his money? Thinks it gives him power. He will flavor, then he will be sour. You and the vegetables don't like him. Oh, Mr. Skin, friend, there goes Mr. Reed. He's viewed as master of the underhanded deed. Folks of fortune for his dark and crafty houses. Live in misery. It's even worse for mouses. Sir, I want some cheese. He must be so lonely. He must be so sad. He goes to extremes to convince us he's bad. It's really all. Mr. Uh, Rage, Mr. Clear, no time for friends of fun. Ask him for a favor, nastiness increases. Don't see the forest, Mises. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Gruel. Uh, he always takes the uh, rules. We don't mean no way of life that this and rehearse. Oh, that work is paying off. Scrooge is getting worse. Uh, Scrooge is getting worse. What an unpleasant fellow. Mm. He was a tight-fisted hand to the grindstone scoop. What? Mm. Boy, this really is a dirty city. Eh, you uh, tell me. me. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. You're making me a part of this. He was a tight-fisted hand to the grindstone scrooge. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Buck, catch it. Yes, Mr. Scrooge. Who is this? 
It's Mr. Applegate, sir. He's here to speak to you about his mortgage. Please, Mr. Scrooge, I know you're very angry about this, and I didn't mean to fall behind in the payments. Yes, she did. Lord knows it being Christmas and all. Oh, please don't shout at me, sir. That, of course, little Gwen, her lungs aren't right. The doctor takes his share. Don't Come here. I mean, you can yell. Come here, you all right, but it won't be no good. Because I'm the stone, you can't squeeze blood. Bye. Now. Tomorrow, Mr. Cratchit. Well, you may get wrapped them. People preparing feasts, giving parties, spending the mortgage money on frivolities. One might say hey. December is the point of loan season. Money. Uh, 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 uh. It's gotten colder, yeah. and the bookkeeping staff would like to have an extra shovel full of coal for the fire. We can't do the bookkeeping. Yeah, all of our pens have turned to inksicles, and our assets are frozen. How would the bookkeepers like to be shut down? I am poor! Fred, I don't see him. Trust me. Hello? Ah. <laughs> Good at that, Mr. Dickens. A Merry Christmas, Uncle Scrooge. God save you. Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, humbug. Quick, it'll be one. Good in there. Christmas of humbug, Uncle. Oh, you don't mean that, surely. Actually, I think it's colder in here. Merry Christmas, you say. What right of you to be merry? The poor. No. What right of you to be dismal? You're rich enough. He's getting married. Uh, 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 if I could work my way, hey. every, every idiot goes about uh, the uh, merry Christmas. Uh, it would be cooked in some pudding. And buried in a state of heart. Now that's me, Joyce. Nephew, you keep Christmas in your own way. And let me keep it in mine. Understand. Christmas is a loving, honest, and charitable time. And though it's never put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe that Christmas has done me good and will do me good. And I say, God bless it. Yes! 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 Now in these times, it was customary on Christmas Eve for well-meaning gentlemen to call on businesses collecting donations for the poor and homeless. Mr. Scrooge, I presume? Who are you? We are from the Order of Victoria Charity Foundation. We'd like to speak to you about a donation. Ah, welcome. This jolly old gentleman here is Mr. Scrooge. He's very generous to charity. Did you never go? At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, many of us feel that we must take care of our poor and homeless. <laughs> Prisons or poor houses? Oh, plenty of those, sir. <laughs> Excellent. Well, a moment, I was worried. Some of us are endeavoring to raise a fund for the poor and the homeless. What might I put you down for? Nothing. You 